So here's the story of how Mikey and I accidentally became the main media people on the black carpet at a VIP media night for a brand new Halloween haunt. When we started Fix It in Post, we knew we would be starting in the month of spooky season. While brainstorming, we both agreed that an awesome last episode for October would be us walking through a scary Halloween maze. But that could only happen if we found a place that would allow us to record in their maze. I thought for sure this would be a long shot. But if you don't ask, then the answer will always be no. So why not give it a shot? I remembered hearing about this place that would be having their first opening this Halloween season. So I sent an email that may have slightly embellished upon the truth. <clears throat> Hello, Victoria. It's so great to see the excitement for spooky season coming around. My name is Casey. I am one of the creators of Fix It In Post, a multimedia experience my friend and I have been building via video entertainment. We plan to launch the first wave of videos in the month of October 2021. Each week, a spooky-themed video will be posted leading up to the grand finale, which we hope to be a walkthrough of a great haunt experience. The plan is to be able to record vlog-style our experience through the Temecula Terror. This would include filming the adventure of walking through each haunt, capturing all the fun and terrifying twists and turns that your haunt will provide, is this something that we will be able to follow through with at Temecula Terror? If so, how can we go about planning this great experience? Thank you for your time. I look forward to hearing from you soon. Sincerely, Casey Crown. I mean, I wasn't lying. Just adding some flair to the truth. But the awesomest part is that we got a response. Huge shout out to Tori with Temecula Terror, because not only did they say yes to us recording, but we received this invite to their VIP night, which would take place the night before their actual opening. What? So, I immediately texted Mikey the news, and of course we accepted the invite. To make things more bizarre somehow, we received info the night before that said we would be asking the celebrities questions while they walked the black carpet. That was only a problem because we have never done anything like this before and we had no idea who anyone on the black carpet was. Okay, so here's what's going on. We don't know who anybody is. We have to interview people. And we're doing the research we can at the moment. Right here, people think we're important, and we just kind of don't know what's going on. So, <laughs> so what do we got, Mikey? What's the thing? Um, you know, I'm struggling. I'm struggling. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no! No! <laughs> what have we done? We eventually just stood back while the photographers took pictures. I was filming, which usually means I don't know what's happening in the world around me. According to Mikey. The media coordinators were telling us to move in closer. Personally, I did not want to do that, because as we just saw, we have no clue what we're doing. But we ended up moving in closer and actually got to talk to a few of the people on the carpet. Temecula Terror, baby, let's go! Yo, we're over here. Let's go. About to get our scare right, on. Wait, is it, is and this is, is where you do the muscle. <laughs> <laughs> you know, hey, I dig, a, I dig the horn thing you got going there. It looks really cool. Oh, I like so that. I know, isn't it cute? Shout out to that. Thanks, it's pretty lit. thanks guys. You're We're in Temecula night. for an event. Let's go. We're out here in T Town. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to the Ochoa boys. They were all really cool. A couple honorable mentions. We met our friend Sean from Spark and Heart. He is awesome. I'm Sean from Spark and Heart. That's yeah. Spark I and Heart. Uh, just a YouTube channel that likes to do some local travel around here. And we also had a nice interview with this guy. My life. What is your favorite Halloween tradition? I love the candy and getting to see all the trick-or-treaters. We usually hand them off to Otis and he deals with it from there. It gets me more bodies for my crypt. Hey, there you go. Yeah. 
<laughs> Don't even know. I can't think of one. No. Hellraiser. Be with my siblings. <laughs> okay. That's, that's quite disturbing. Yes, Devil very here. important. Who are you wearing tonight? Oh, uh, yes. This is all made by me. Oh, okay. Well, Wonderful. actually my workers, but they don't really matter. <laughs> That's true, but you know, they did a great job. You know. Man of many talents, I see. Yeah. Delegating, I love it. <laughs> Delegating is the best, right? Sure. You seem to be very talented at it. Yes. That's why I made myself mayor. I thought I'd be a perfect fit for oh, this town. Oh, you chose to be mayor. Yes, I did. I understand. I understand, with a heavy, heavy fist, I assume. Hey, leadership, good quality. It's true, I'm not, I'm not taking that down at all. No, no, this town needed it. It was forgotten a long time ago. I flipped it around. And that's the story of how Mikey and I accidentally became the main media people on the black carpet at a VIP media night for Temecula Terror. Thank you for joining this episode of Spooky Vibes. We'll see you next time. Oh.